Welcome back to Around the Clock. We are in the garage of the current Ashland Police Station, and we are here with Chief Alfano. Chief, welcome back to Around the Clock. Thank you very much. Now, this is a little bit of a bittersweet interview for us today because we're talking about your retirement from the Ashland Police Department. That is correct. June 30th. June 30th. So that's going to be here before we know it. Mm -hmm. You've been with the Ashland Police Department two and a half years now? Yes. And you start, how long were you interim before uh, Michael Herbert made you permanent? Uh, about three months. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you think you'd be staying here this long when you took on that interim position? No, I didn't because it was presented <laughs> to me as just basically to hold the fort until they hire a permanent chief. Um, but in about three months, I kind of fell in love with everybody here and fell in love with the town. And um, fortunately, I guess the town liked me. So. I was going to say, I think the residents fell in love with you as well. I remember that first summer you'd show up at the farmer's market and at all the mm -hmm. events. And of course, that was pre pandemic. So, yes. um, so two and a half years, high points and low points. What's been the toughest thing for you in these two and a half years? I think probably the toughest thing was the pandemic for all of us. Yeah. Um, because we, we had to carry on business as usual. The police department could not work from home. Right. And we have uh, shifts that we have to staff. We have a certain uh, minimum of officers and staff that we needed every shift to provide law enforcement services and emergency coverage. Um, so And we don't have a lot of staff. So if right. we had a lot of people out sick, that would really affect our operations. So we had to put right from the very beginning a lot of precautions in place to keep us safe and to, and to keep everyone else safe. Did you have any issues with COVID that any officers got it? Very few, minimal, okay. minimal, okay. which is, is almost a miracle because the officers are out all day going yeah. to calls with people who had COVID and were exposed to people all the time, uh, sometimes very closely, and and it, uh, it it was it was difficult, but they did it. And you know, I really praise the staff because uh, they came in every day, every single day, and and it, it was tough because you know when they're in here and they're dealing with exposure to COVID, they have to go home to their families, right? And it, there's a risk of transmitting that to their families. So we we are certainly fortunate to have. Have, to have such a great police department. Um, COVID was, of course, one of the negative, one of the down points. What mm -hmm. was the high point of the two and a half years here? The high point: meeting the staff, working with them every day, and seeing them in action. Um, every day, I'm astounded at the work that the the police staff, and I'm including everybody in that, mm -hmm. and I also include the auxiliary police staff in that right. as well. The, what they do every day is nothing short of amazing. Um, and unless it's on the news or on TV or in yeah. the newspaper, you know, you really don't see the things that they do every day. And and a lot of the things are not, you know, very high profile things, but right. just the, the small things day -to -day. add up the day to day. Now, we've had an increase in our police force. So when you started, how many officers did we have? Actually, we're short three we're right short now three. because of um, officers going to other agencies okay. or retirements. Okay. So we're actually um, in the process with civil service to hire three. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because I remember we like gained a bunch, and but I guess we, we hear about the people coming on. We don't always necessarily hear about the people that are leaving. So. Right. We had one officer uh, take a job as a federal agent. Yep. Um, we had another officer retire. Actually, two officers retired. Uh -huh. So. Wow. So you're retiring. Yes. What is retirement going to look like for you? Because um, it's different for everybody. <laughs> yes, yes. A, a very full schedule retirement will look like for me. Because um, when, when I, I first started, when I came on board as interim chief, prior to that, uh, we had bought an old farm. And, okay. and we were renovating it. And it needed a, oh, a, wow. a water renovation. And uh, getting all the permits. To, we basically rejuvenated the old farm. It had been a farm for 100 years. And then when I, when I accepted the position here, everything kind of stopped. Or oh, went my goodness. On, basically just working on it, you know, a day here, a day there. So, so you have a list of things that you're going to be starting on. Uh, a list on, of things, on yes. Ju on July 1st. Yeah, oh boy, <laughs> the list is already there. <laughs> well, Chief, the other thing that you've helped with is getting the public safety building permitted and planned. Mm -hmm. And of course, we all know we've seen the work, the shovel in the ground. How does that make you feel, being able to help get that finally passed and moving here in town? That, when I, when I accepted the position, I had two goals. One goal was to improve the morale and the working condition for the officers as, mm -hmm. as immediately as I could. Yep. And the second goal was to take the experience that I had already with public safety buildings and do whatever I could to assist the town so that um, they could get the officers out of this facility. Yes. This facility, not only is it outdated, it's dangerous. Yeah. Um, 
Um, and it's every day there's a safety risk when the officers are working in this building. And uh, we're very fortunate the town and the town government supported both the fire department and the police. Yeah. And, and we're really two unified departments, the mm -hmm. fire department and police. We work yeah. together daily. Um, many of the officers, you know, they're friendly together. We go to the same calls. Right. We really rely on each other. And the fact that they're basically going to be home in a building together yeah. is it's so good for efficiency for right. both departments. It's right. so good for morale um, and safety. Good. Well, Chief, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for your time here in Ashland and being on Around the Clock the number of times that you have. Uh, I wish you well in retirement. Well, I know there's you. a celebration coming up at some point, so I look forward to getting to give you some more congratulations oh. at that. Well, and thank you. I remember when I first started, one of my was, first one official of your acts first was your show. It was coming on yeah, Around the Clock. So we're, your show. we're coming full circle. That's we right. had you when you started and now as you are exiting and heading back to retirement. Right. Well, Chief, thank you so much for coming on Around the Clock. Well, thank you. And we'll be back with more.